Hey everyone, Edo Van Belkom here, author of Wolfpack, with the very first episode of Wolfpack Facts. In this one, I'm going to talk about the idea that Wolfpack is a sequel or spin-off to Teen Wolf. It's easy to see why people would think Wolfpack is a sequel to Teen Wolf. After all, both series are about teenage werewolves. Both are set in California. Both were created by the brilliant Jeff Davis. Both are on Paramount Plus, and both of them, Teen Wolf Movie and Wolfpack's first episode, premiered on the very same date, January 26, 2023. The Teen Wolf TV series is loosely based on the 1985 Teen Wolf movie starring Michael J. Fox. Now, the Wolfpack book that I wrote was in 2004 and was published that year as well. The Teen Wolf TV series never even came out until 2011. Tyler Posey was only 13 years old. Nobody at the time was asking me whether it was a sequel to the Teen Wolf movie. So the easy answer is no, Wolfpack is not a sequel or spin-off of Teen Wolf. If you're really interested in sequels, Wolfpack the novel has three of them, Lone Wolf, Cry Wolf, and Wolf Man, each of them available in audio and ebook format. Check them out. Ado Van Belkom, author of Wolfpack, with another episode of Wolfpack Facts. The original Wolfpack novel was published in 2004 by Canadian publisher Tundra Books. In 2005, it won the Aurora Award for Best Long Form Work in English. It's sort of the Canadian equivalent to the American Hugo Award in that it's voted on by Canadian science fiction and fantasy fans. Wolfpack also won the Silver Birch Award in 2006, a very prestigious award presented by the Ontario Library Association. Each year, there's a list of 10 finalists, and school children get to read from that list and then vote for their favorite. The best part of the Silver Birch Award was the award presentation itself. It was down by the lakeshore of Lake Ontario, an outdoor venue, and they'd bust in about 3,000 school-aged kids for the event. And when they introduced me, they all had copies of Wolfpack, raising them up over their heads and screaming and screaming. It was one of the only times in my writing career I felt like a rock star. The other time, when I walked down the red carpet, the Wolfpack premiere. It's all according to how your boogaloo situation stands. You understand? Edo Van Belkom, author of Wolfpack, with another Wolfpack Facts. This time I'll be talking about the similarities between the TV show and the book series. <laughs> First of all, they're both called Wolfpack. Both stories open with a raging wildfire, the book series with the original fire, and the television series with the one that comes 18 years later. In the book series, Ranger Brock comes across four wolf cubs after the fire. In the TV series, Ranger Briggs comes across two. In both stories, he decides to take them home and ultimately adopt them as his own children. This decision forms the wolf pack, which is central and crucial to both versions of the story. In both stories, members of the pack are curious about their heritage and want to know who their real mother and father are. Finally, the book series suggests that there could be other members of the pack that were lost in the fire. So far, the TV series says that one of them survived, and that being Baron. Could there be other similarities in the future? Maybe. There are three other titles in the book series, and we're all hoping for season two. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, Edo Van Belkom, author of Wolfpack, with another Wolfpack Facts. This time we'll talk about the differences between the books and the TV series. First of all, the book series is a family drama for young readers, while the TV series is a supernatural mystery for older teens and adults. The books are set in the fictitious small town of Redstone, British Columbia, while the TV series is set in Los Angeles, which gives it a rural and urban backdrop. In the books, the pack is aware of who and what they are, and they're learning to control their powers. In the TV series, they're just wondering what the hell is going on and trying to figure out how they all fit together. In the books, Ranger Brock is married and his wife's name is Phyllis. 
In the TV series, Ranger Briggs is single, but he still let a female in on the pack secret, and that being Ranger Prisha. Finally, in the books, all the threats to the pack are man-made. School bullies, provincial government, mad scientists, angry townspeople. In the TV series, the pack's threat is all supernatural. But that changed at the end of season one when all the threats to the pack suddenly became human. Is that the end of the supernatural threats to the pack? I doubt it. But in season two, we're gonna see threats to the pack coming from all sides. All sides hey, you made it to the end. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the videos, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you're interested in the books, check out the links below. See you next time for more Wolf Pack Facts.